Fresno Pacific looking to avenge a bitter two-point loss to Grand Canyon in Phoenix, taking on the Antelopes at home where they have not lost all season. First minute of the game, and Brad Carroll buries the three for GCU, his only points on the night, and one of the only times the Lopes would lead in this game. On the other end, great ball movement by the Sunbirds who find Malcolm Griffin who gets the quick turnaround floater to fall. He had eight points on the night for Fresno Pacific. Then Griffin leading the fast break finds Matt Samuels for the lay in here. Samuels had a monster night for FBU. Later in the half, Samuels keeps his balance and lays it in on the tough shot to tie the game up at 13. Then on the steal by Griffin, he gets it ahead to Samuels and the little six foot guard, he dunks it over 6'10 Braylon Pickrell. Samuels had 18 in the first half. 26 on the night to lead all scores then. John Taylor finds Ricky Vick in the corner for three. Next possession, Taylor doing it himself. The amazing body control gets the tough shot to go in. He finished with 17, and the Sunbirds led at the break by 18. Second half, Killian Larson can't get the shot to go, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back in. He had a double-double on the night with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Then Antonio Credit takes the contact and the bucket, nearly a double-double for Credit, who finished with 14 points and 9 rebounds. The Sunbirds win this one big, 83-68. What I'm more proud of, though, is the fact that, you know, we played so poorly against Azusa. You know, obviously, give Azusa credit. They took it to us. But, uh, you know, I, I told our guys, that's that's not our team, you know, because we had, I thought we'd really turn the corner and start to defend consistently and, you know, start to move the ball better. And in the second half, we didn't do those things, you know, and, and got pounded for it. Uh, so to, to bounce back from that performance, um, you know, was great. I mean, I think this is the most complete game that we played all season. You know, for 40 minutes, thought our guys were engaged into the game and pretty unselfish. So this is definitely a good win for us to uh, to build off of. I mean, it was it was before Christmas break when we lost, and it was the. I mean, I'm not gonna call any loss the worst loss of the season, but I mean, they was picked to win the conference. Um, up 14 at their place. That's something you don't get. You know, what I'm saying at, at the number one team in the conference place in. We blew it, you know what I'm saying? We blew it. So tonight was just so much preparation, so much, I'm not going to call it the word anger, but just trying to, you know, get back from, you know, what we lost, you know, and we haven't lost at home yet, so we did a great job. Um, we definitely wanted to get them on our home floor because um, we felt like we should we should have had them last time, so we felt like we owed them something. And um, we just wanted to do it, you know. We had our whole crowd out here watching us, and we played hard for them. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, really, we've done a good job to, to play through whoever whoever gets started. You know, we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of guys who can score the basketball. And once we normally get started, I mean, we, we pretty much play through whoever got started. And I just thank my teammates for playing through me. They saw I got started, and they just played through me and, and went through me the entire game. So, And so we really challenged our team to take care of the glass, you know, especially, you know, with him. We had to keep him off the offensive boards. And so tonight, I, it wasn't just our big guys. And our big guys did battle. Tone played well, and, and I mean, he was he was a warrior tonight. But beside that, I thought our guards really helped us, you know, contain the glass and kind of limit some of his rebounds inside. And so for us to to get out rebounded by 18 at Grand Canyon, which is absolutely ridiculous, to to out rebound them by nine here, I think says a lot about you know the work that our teams put in and just the focus they had coming into today.